today and we are going to be looking at the Beatles Lizzie Girl collection uh, and do two sets and do a long set and a short set. Um, you can of course make press ones this way or you can put them on your nail space uh, with some press and then of course like poly gel and builder gel uh, the, the either the laser gel method or um, the apray method. I will leave a, li a video or two links in the cards up in the top right corner here. Uh, just so that you can watch that and understand what I mean. Um, but yeah, let's get into the video. Hello, hello, hello guys. So I'm back with a voiceover. Uh, you will not believe the hell I have had trying to record this voiceover. I'll explain that in a minute. So quickly, what I am doing right now is I'm just sizing up my tips, making sure they fit from side wall to side wall and they fit nicely around the cuticle area. I'm also using the McCart uh, Short Almond Nails here. Everything will be linked down below in the description box. Um, and I'm doing the same thing, fitting it and then sticking it onto my nail stand. I then use a hand file to file off the little like tabby things that are at the tip. Uh, that, they come off the mold with you know when they break them off uh when they are made well i'm just taking them off uh also if you find that your nail tips do not fit your nails properly you can always use your hand file to file around the cuticle area to fit them better to your natural nail like your actual shape of cuticle so anyway now we're going to go into this goodie box here this is the beetles Lizzie Girl collection and they sent me this for free so I am going to say a big thank you to Beatles again for sending me this I really do appreciate it I absolutely love their gel polishes so anyhow the first thing that we come across is those two little tubs of uh their flower glitters they're like paper um and they're super cute and super lush I really really did like them it also comes with a dotting tool uh, on one end and a striping brush at the other. It's one tool um, along with uh, two sets of stickers. It's a, it's these colourful uh, like flowers and then daisies. The daisies were really nice. They look really realistic. But you get two packs of them. So you get two of the same stickers. Uh, and then of course you get uh, all of your colours along with a gel top coat, base coat and matte coat. The Colours are 5 mils each, and then the top coats and stuff, I think they're 10 to 15 mil years, I can't remember. So just a heads up, you might hear my children playing in the background. I am close to the door as they are playing outside in the garden. <laughs> so uh, anyway, now we're going to go on to the swatches. So first of all, this um, set is really, really lush. I really did like the colours. Um, the first two solid colours here, not the glitter one, but the other two, I they're not my cup of tea colours. That I don't like them, but, you know, just because I don't like a colour doesn't mean that someone else won't. Um, so, yeah, they're not my favourite colours, but, you know, it, it adds to the set here. And it, they do go really well with the gold. So, you know, I know not everyone is going to have the same preference. Um, but, yeah. So, this set comes with a couple of different yellows, a couple of different shades of blue, pinks, purples. It comes with some glitters. Um, this set is really nice, I think, for spring, summer, and even coming into autumn, because there are some different, like, there's some rich colours, there's some bright colours, pastels, and there's also, some, like, warm-toned colours as well, which is great. Uh, so, this kit, this collection can be used most of the year, uh, most of the year, I suppose. You could even use it for winter with all those blues and this, like, creamy colour. <laughs> but, yeah, I am really happy with this uh, gel set. And as always, the gels go on really smoothly. They are really creamy. They're not runny or anything like that. And they do cure in the nail lamp for 90 seconds. Beetles gel polish products are a 90 second cure. Always read the instructions. This box does come with instructions. I just forgot to show them. But... Yes, Beatles is a 90 second cure. I always mention this in the Beatles videos because most like things are between 30 and 60 seconds. Um, but yeah, the Beatles products are a 90 second cure. <clears throat> so yeah, as always, absolutely love. I just can't get enough of Beatles gel polish. <laughs> So anyway, I hope you are all doing well. I know I skipped last week. Sorry, guys. I just, 
I didn't record anything and then I weren't feeling well for a couple of days. I swear, I always seem to be poorly lately or my kids are poorly. It never ends, does it? <laughs> um, but I also just didn't feel like recording because I weren't feeling well and then I just didn't have any creativity. Um, but I have drawn up some like new fresh ideas that I want to try. Um, so I will be doing it this week. I'm going to try my best. I know I say this all the time. <laughs> I'm going to try my best to... Um, do a couple of recordings, one after another, just basically just record non-stop now for the next couple of days, just to get some extra content out because I did miss last week. And I hate that I miss sometimes, I hate it, but you know, sometimes it can't be helped. <laughs> so anyway, I don't know why I do this, but every time I do a gel polish swatches, I always spin the wheel. <laughs> So now um, I did top coat them. I didn't, I forgot to use the matte top coat to uh, like show you the matte top coat, but I will leave a couple of videos in the cards because yeah, <laughs> you can go back and look on them. Um, but Beatles matte top coat is one of the only top coats that I use. I absolutely love it. Uh, so anyway, now I'm going to go on with the short nails first. So the first nail that I do, I absolutely love this purple. It was so lush in colour. So I was like, okay, i got to do a solid nail with just this purple. So that's what i done. And I stuck it in the nail lamp and I cured that. Uh, the thumb and the pinky, I do marble nails. So I tried to match the gel polishes to the glitters that I use. Because I use both the glitters and some of those daisy stickers. Um, so basically what I'm doing now is I'm just using my resin palette here. And I'm putting down some colours onto the resin palette in a line and then I use that gorgeous uh beautiful iridescent uh gel polish and I just dot some of the glitter in between the lines as you can see just to add some glitter into that nail so once I had done this then I got a gel brush and I scooped the gel up and onto the nail uh you don't need to apply any pressure you kind of just drag the nail the the brush down the nail as you can see um and then just very gently use the end of your brush to then drag it to cover all of the nail itself. Um, don't do it too thick because it will just run everywhere. And what I found was best, the same with like when you do beetle, uh, not beetle, when you do builder gel, I just flip the nail upside down and let gravity sort of do its work and drag it around for a couple of seconds. I then do the same on the pinky finger. Um, and these two nails turned out really, really lush. I really liked the way they looked. They were absolutely beautiful to me i just this color combination was oh, this actually turned out to be my favorite set of them all <laughs> so once i was done with that i started curing of course and now i'm just going in and i'm going to do some french tip nails i'm going to do a yellow and i'm going to do a purple so of course if you are not comfortable with just painting the tip on with the the, the art brush the, the the actual gel brush that comes in the bottle you can always use the striping um brush to draw on the line and then paint it it's completely up to you uh, i know that french tip looks so easy to do but trust me it is not easy to do it takes a lot of practice i have many times messed up on a french tip it is one of the hardest things but looks so simple to do do you know what i'm i hope that makes sense but anyway i just painted onto the nail here and just created that smooth crisp smile line made sure they were even and then i just poured some of these butterflies into the tub i'm currently curing the the nail bed area of that french tip then i go in with this glitter because i am absolutely obsessed with it i paint it onto these two nails and i stick the little uh flower um glitters into the the uncured gel before going in then and curing once i put the flowers on um and then what else? I, there was something else I did. Oh, <laughs> the purple, the full colour purple nail. I added some daisy stickers, those uh, that come in the kit. I added them to that nail and then I top coated every single nail. I think that was it. I'm trying to think because I'm sure I'm forgetting something. Uh, I did use my dotting tool just to quickly add the, the, the flowers to it as well. So yeah. Uh, but all in all, absolutely loved this set. The way that this set turned out was just so summery and also springy at the same time. I really am pleased with it and I'm really liking the short almonds at the minute. But I'm also, I cannot escape my my obsession with long coffin nails. Um, so yeah, I, don't, I just thought, do both sets, do a short set and a long set. And I think that's what I'll do from now on because it is nice to like do different two different sets do you know what I mean I have been doing it for a while but I think I'm gonna keep doing it uh so yeah once that was done here we go now we're just doing the stickers I just used some tweezers these stickers are quite thin so they're not like chunky on the nail um 
so they they go really flush to the nail which is great um yeah top coated and then i just stuck it in the nail lamp and cured and then i stuck them on my nails of course i'd done the other set first oh, So for the second set, we've done some long coffin because like I said, I am never going to be not obsessed with long coffin. So I did take away the ring finger because we do end up doing a glass uh, flower uh, nail with that one. So I decided to do a really simple set here. So we've done marble on the other hand, so I didn't want to do marble again. So I just thought, why not do some ombre Because ombre in itself is just a lush thing to do. I love ombre nails. I think they're absolutely beautiful. So I painted the pinky and the thumbnail in full solid coloured nails uh, because again I wanted to match the colours to the glitters then once I cured I did do two coats in that and I do show you I go in now on the last two nails because of course the fifth nail we are going to be just encapsulating loads of flowers on so now what I'm doing is I'm just going to put the gel polish half on half on one side and then another color on the other side i paint i did mix it up a little bit um i paint as you can see up the other side and then i get my uh, ombre brush and i swipe up and down the nail in like a really fast motion i love doing ombre because it, it is actually pretty easy when you get the hang of it take a couple a couple of times and you will get it no problem i cured in the nail lamp and then i do a second coat on these as well uh so you only need to do two coats uh with ombre -ing with beetles gel polish sometimes i know some companies have used you need about three coats um but it's better to do thin coats than thick coats always do thin layers of gel polish don't do thick because it might not cure um so as you can see i do the same again i of course wiped off my brush before i started doing this now um because it was pink and orange and now it's orange and yellow uh so here i am doing the second coat and again i cure in my nails so it's a lot of in and out of the cure the lamp you can of course put these um I don't know if I mentioned this because I've done this voice recording three times. For some reason, my phone just wasn't picking up the recording. And then I decided to try out two different headsets with two different mics and it wasn't picking it up. It was like my voice just wasn't going through. I don't know what was happening. Um, and it was, it was annoying me. But I restarted my phone and all of a sudden I can record my voiceovers. Very strange. But it's working now, so that's the main thing. Um... So what was I saying? <laughs> I can't remember. Oh, jeez. Um, yeah, that's gone out of my brain. So, yeah. <laughs> so I went back on the nail, uh, on the nail, on the voice over and I listened back to what I was saying so I could remember what I was going to say. Um, you can, of course, you don't have to make press-ons. You can put your nails on you can use pot you can build up a poly gel acrylic uh dip powder you can uh use the like a prey jelly tip one two three go nail method you can stick them to your nails beforehand with some like base coat build a gel the laser girl method femi beauty method whatever you can put that them on first before of course doing the design is completely up to you i just like to make press-ons because i find it easier to do art on nails before they're on me sometimes and um but sometimes i do like to just do the art on the nail it depends what i'm feeling like but i really did want to just do some press ons here uh, so anyway i i was trying to get the glitter on like because i was going to put a lot of glitter on it and it's a big nail uh i tried to like pick it up with like a different tools but in the end i just poured it on <laughs> and then i picked up my paper here and i poured all of those flowers back into that little pot um so i did use that glitter gel polish i painted the nail um with that gel polish first and then before curing i stuck the flowers they poured the flowers on top i cured and then i went in with a thick coat of that top coat and i dragged up the nail to encapsulate um i know that you you can use builder gel 
and acrylic and poly gel and dip powder to encapsulate that nail if you want to i just wanted to use as much as just the kit as i could i didn't want to um bring extra products in i wanted to make it so that it was just like the kit that you needed and like a few extra things do you know what i mean or things that you will already have so i did um i put the top coat on and i held it upside down so it leveled itself i cured it then i filed that nail to make sure that it was still shaped properly and then i went in with another thin layer of top coat to make sure it was all done and then i stuck them on my nails i put some cuticle cool oil on of course but this is the end result so this is the first set and i am absolutely in love with it it's so pretty um my daughter wants these nails so i think i'm gonna have to do them for her <laughs> um and then the other set um i think i've done really well on as well the other set is really pretty, pretty, pretty really really pretty as well but i do prefer this one over the other set in all fairness so which one did you guys prefer please let me know down in the comments below but this is the end of the video while well, we're coming up to the end just wait for the reveals um but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did don't forget to like comment and subscribe i hope you're all having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world i hope that you are staying safe i hope you keep on smiling um and yeah i will just see you in my next video guys so yeah stay safe bye This could be good for me Lately I was feeling like I need a purpose